أن أكون الأفضل بين الجميع لذا أجمع الفقيم سلاحي المليع Hello everyone and welcome back to a new part of Pokemon Thunder Yellow! And Pikachu is saying hello as well! When we last left off, we tried to face Brock in the gym and we failed! Mainly because Pikachu did not learn a move that can affect uh, rock type Pokemon like Onyx. So yeah, our aim this video is to train Pikachu up in order to learn a move, I think Quick Attack is the first move he learns that can affect uh, Brock's Pokemon. And maybe level up um, Pidgeotto and Cater Caterpie, he's a Butterfree now, uh, Butterfree a few more levels before we attempt that gym again. Okay, very nice. Slowly but surely. I mean, this is just like the anime. Ash also had to train Pikachu after his loss to Brock the first time um, in order to make Pikachu stronger to take on Geodude and Onyx. So right now we are following the path of the anime itself, very nice. I know there is a game called Pokemon Ash Grey where it literally follows the path of the, of the anime, but it takes it too literally and the Team Rocket encounters are insanely a lot in that game, so that is one of the reasons I did not want to play the Pokemon Ash Grey version and preferred Thunder Yellow over it is the amount of times that you have to face Team Rocket. I mean, a lot of times. This game, it's in the moderate amount. So, it follows the plot of the anime, not literally follow it. We can make it follow it um, by mere choice, you know? Um, I can attempt to play the Ash Grey version some time in the future, maybe after I finish this game. But let's finish this game first before thinking about the next Pokemon game we have to play. Because there is also Pokemon Emerald, I think with May. We can use only May's Pokemon in that game, so that can be fun as well. If I try to play the Ash Grey version, I think I'm gonna play it with my own team. Not with Ash's team, but you know what? It could be fun to play with Ash's team again while following the anime literally, but those encounters with Team Rocket is what's putting me off. Um, there are a lot. There are a lot in that game. So we level up here. Oh, Pikachu is trying to learn Quick Attack! So it was only one level away! So, yeah, we need to delete a move. Let's pick one. Growl, Tail Whip, Thunder Wave. We have Growl and Tail Whip, we can go without Growl. So, let's forget Growl and learn Quick Attack! Yes! Okay, so with that being said... Hmm... Do we now go to the gym this early? What are the levels of our Pokemon parties? 10, 11, 13. Hmm... I'm gonna train Pikachu and Butterfree to level 12 and then I'm gonna attempt the gym again. So that's my plan. I'm gonna make them level 12. Oh, and it deals a decent amount of damage as well. Okay. 
and then we'll attempt the gym one more time. Three hours later. Okay, so I think this is going to be our last encounter before heading off to try to take on Brock once again. Okay, so Pikachu is now level 13. Let's take a look at our team. We have level 13 Pikachu who can now quick attack. Uh, Butterfree level 13 and learned uh, Poison Powder as well. I forgot Harden and learned Poison Powder instead of it. And Pidgeotto is level 13 from the start. So, with that team, let's heal up at the Poké Center and try Brock for one more time. Now it's ideal of course to gain more levels before attempting a gym battle, but I don't want to sweep the game by over leveling too much. I want to reserve it in order to make it more com competitive, you know? He's level 12, so level 13, just one level above, that will make it competitive enough to have a fun battle and not just sweep everything in one in one hit, um, I don't think that's going to be any fun, you know, to level up to levels like 30 or 40 or 50 in order to fight Pokemon that are level 10 and 12. That is not going to be fun. So, the very big question, who starts? Right now, we have Pikachu, and we have Butterfree, and we have Pidgeotto. You know what? I'm gonna let Pidgeotto start, uh, Pikachu start, sorry. Um, do you have something to tell us, sir? You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. What? What? What was that? So, you're here. Yeah, we met before, sir. So, this is our second attempt, just like the anime. And this time, it's going to go very differently. I hope. <laughs> This is the one battle Ash never won, really, in the anime, so hopefully we will try to win it ourselves here. Now, a Pikachu against a Geodude. Of course, that's not a good matchup, but we have Quick Attack now, so it's not very effective, though. Oh, and he has Tackle. But he is paralyzed. So, you know what? I'm gonna switch now to... Butterfree, yes, to use our confusion. Don't tackle us, please, come on. Okay, that's better, that's better. You're now paralyzed and we gain another turn. Is this it? Are we going to defeat Brock right here and now? Okay. He's about to use his Onyx now, so... Onyx, I'm gonna put Pidgeotto in your way first. Because I have a strategy now. My strategy is... To use Pidgeotto... And spam Sand Attack. Now that is going to decrease the accuracy of Onyx's attacks. No, it still hits though. I want to spam it so that he doesn't hit us at all. Yes, I want that to happen. I want him to miss. I want him to miss every turn. So I think that's enough sand attacks. Now let's try Gust. Come on, Pidgeotto. Yes. Our strategy is now working. Not very effective, but we're gonna have to do. Come on! Yes, he's a he is missing again. This is a fight. We have a fight here. The 
Yes, keep missing, keep missing, come on, that's good. You know what, I'm gonna use one more sand attack and then switch to Butterfree in order to get some more damage in. Using our confusion, come on. Yes, keep missing, keep missing, that's right. Now let's confuse you. Yes, that's more like it. No, and that hits? Oh, he nearly took us out there. And the speed fell. Um, let's confuse you again. No, Butterfree gets taken out. No. Even after all of that sand attacking. Okay, let's try Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. Pikachu versus Onyx. No, how is he at... How is he landing those? Okay, you know what? Can I Thunder Wave you? I don't think I can. Yes, it doesn't affect him, so I wasted the turn, but let's tail whip. Decrease his defense, yes. Now let's quick attack. No, come on. Come on, Pikachu. Come on, you can do it. No, how is that hitting us? How is that hitting us? And now it's up to Pidgeotto. It's us versus him. Pidgeotto versus Onyx. Quick attack. Yes, do we take him down? We took him down with the quick attack. Oh my god. That was harder than I thought. Whew. Now we, Pidgeotto gains all the experience, that's okay. We defeated Leader Brock, finally! I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Ash received the Boulder Badge from Brock, after an intense boss fight that was. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokémon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokémon must know the move Flash to use it first. And we got a thousand... <laughs> one thousand two hundred dollars for winning. For compensation, yeah. Wait! Take this with you too! TM39 Rock Tomb, is it? A TM! Technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So, when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, it contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. There are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. So let me make a suggestion. Are you gonna come with us? Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Oh, that was... That was nasty. But we did it! We finally did it! <laughs> we defeated Brock. We got the boulder badge as well. That was an intense battle. Yes, please. Great job, everyone. Pikachu. Hey, Pikachu. Now, let's see. Who should we put first? I think I'm gonna put Pikachu first. And with that, let's try and unlock more Pokemon. So, I think 
the person right here was blocking the path. Do we need to buy more Pokeballs? Let's check. We have eight, so I'm gonna buy only two. And that's about it. Okay, sir, we have faced Brock. Where are you? I can't see him, where is he? There was a person here. Um, are you a trainer? Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Question tag right there. Janice. She has a PG. Well, I'm very glad that we finished the Brock fight. <laughs> that was uh, intense, to say the least. What did I do? I just used my Pikachu against your Pokemon. I think that's fair. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Are you the Samurai Kid? Colton? I don't believe I met you, Colton, before. You're gonna send a Caterpie. I'm gonna use the Pokédex to know where Weedle dwells. Another Caterpie, so I'm gonna change to our own Butterfree right now. Oh, I did not mean to use Trink Shot. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Confusion now. You beat me again. I don't remember meeting you the first time, sir. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Well, um, I can't argue with that. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Aratata. Well. Oh, we forgot to... Um, yeah, we forgot to tag out Pikachu here. No biggie. Okay, we're getting more Pokemon now uh, in order to see for our uh, in our Pokedex. 
Oh, you're intimidating my Butterfree account? How oh, dare you. Thank you. I don't believe it. Believe it, as Naruto would say, the American version of him. So, no, not. Yes, I wanted to switch Butterfree with Pikachu. And let's check our Pokédex. Now, what do I have to do here? No, 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 there must be a faster way. Um, numerical mode? Yes, that's the one I wanted. So, Weedle. Now, when we... Area unknown. So, we can't catch a Weedle in this game, apparently, for some reason. Okay, so who else? Ratata and Ekans. Yes, let's check Ekans. Where does he dwell? Okay, those areas are not available for us yet, so that is the way we use the Pokédex to know where a Pokémon lies. So if we find a trainer who uses a Pokémon that we want, we can check where we can find that Pokémon this way. I don't think we have met a Pokémon that we wanted yet. No Mankeys, no... Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away! Uh, why did I give him a, <laughs> an old man's voice? Greg here seems young. Sorry, Greg. Now, the long battle between Weedle and Butterfree. I had both in my team, Beedrill and Butterfree. So there was no competition there. A Kakuna? I would love to have a Kakuna, but Ash did not catch that Weedle. <laughs> that makes me upset every time I remember. Butterfree is trying to learn Stun Spore. Sun makes you paralyzed. Hmm. Let's check. Do we have a move that we can afford to? String shot makes you. Yeah, I can think. I think we can make without string shot. We're not gonna use it that much. So we forgot string shot and learned stun spore. Okay, and so we defeated Greg. Let's give him a young man's voice now. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won! No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Don't uh, make excuses, Greg. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Uh, well, I did not mean to last. Last Sally would like to battle. She has a attack. Oh, and it's confused, our first Pokémon that got confused in the game. He snapped out of confusion and used Quick Attack. How convenient.
be nice. I mean, one one last tells me to don't be mean and the other one tells me to be nice. What is this? I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Okay. Show me what you caught, sir. James. A Caterpie. Okay, James. Meet my Butterfree. Now those trainer battles are very important because they give a lot of experience points. As you can see, Butterfree is about to be leveling up yet again. Level 15 now. And she's trying to learn he's trying to learn sleep powder. Now that is very, very important. Yes, we definitely need this one. Now, which one can we do without? Tackle? No. Stun spore or poison powder? Paralyze or poison? I think stun spore. Sleep powder is very, very powerful. It what ma it's something that makes Butterfree very, very powerful. Now he's going to use a Metapod, so let's use Pidgeotto. No, we're gonna use Pikachu because he has less HP points. So we need that to go up. Done like dinner. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean you just got defeated, sir. Don't be so happy about it. Um, yeah, we can't go down through this ledge right here. So this is going to be the next encounter. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? I mean, what's wrong with not wearing shorts? Calvin? Espiro? Butterfree against a Spiro? That can't go good. Let's try our sleep powder. Will you sleep, Spiro? <laughs> he fell asleep! It worked! See, it's very, very effective. And very powerful indeed. Still sleeping. Now Butterfree has unlocked its full potential right now with the sleeping powder. As you can see it made that Spiro Lost! 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 Yes, you did. Uh, it made that Spiro go down without dealing any damage points. So let's switch our Pikachu up front. And we have a new patch of grass right here. Eek! Did you touch me? No, we did not. No, we did not. Robin. Jigglypuff. Go Pikachu. Pikachu versus Jigglypuff. <laughs> Get it before the things. Come on. Oh, and it hits hard too. Able. Okay, so I'm gonna use quick attack then. Yes, it missed. So disabled no more. Thunder shock, Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> yes, taken down. That's it. Girl, you have some of the weirdest lines so far in this game. Um, yeah. So we have a patch of grass over there. And what is this? 
Route 3 Mount Moonahan Route 4 I mean, that's a lot of things here We have a lot of trainers here, but... And a lot of people here to talk to I'm gonna keep all of that to the next video Thank you, Nurse Joy. And with that, oh, I have to say that I'm very glad we defeated Brock. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, uh, we're right now rolling with our sleeping powder with Butterfree and quick attack with Pikachu. Yeah, everything is good right now. So thank you all for sticking with me on this part, and I will see you next part. Goodbye.